Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope everyone is doing great. Uh, thank you so much for your lovely support. Thank you so much for all your comments and feedbacks uh, for all the Himalayan videos that have been posted recently. Uh, this video particularly is about the complaints that we had in our vehicle and the solution that we got it from Ari. This video has already been published in Tamil, uh, different different videos in a split of three or four videos. But few uh, subscribers wanted to have this video in English because this complaint, there are few people are also facing it, especially in the north. So they wanted to have this video in English so that they can also understand it and also give guidelines for the other service center people who are there in the north to rectify their issues. So let's get back into the video. People who already watched the videos in Tamil, so you can skip it out. And the people uh, are looking out for a solution for the engine noise, the dispatch sound and also for the uh, cone set sound. Probably you can just watch this video completely. As you guys no, this is a whole new Himalayan 450. This bike, uh, I took the delivery during the second week of December and till now I have 5,000 kilometers in this vehicle. So the complaints that I had in my vehicle is like uh, the cone set noise, uh, the kind of tuck tuck noise whenever when we hit the speed breakers or any pothole. And the second is like the brake pad noise that gets annoying at many times because at slow speeds when you hit the brakes, uh, the sound is a little bit annoying. And the third complaint is the abnormal noise. So we will go through all about all this and uh, the solution that what Ari gave us. During the initial period of time of riding this vehicle, the two complaints, the brake pad noise and also the cone set noise, I could able to hear it from very few kilometers of taking the delivery. But it was like brand new vehicle, so I just don't want to complain during the first service. First 500 kilometers, like I was just observing the vehicle. Post 500 kilometers, that is like 500, till next 1500 kilometers, that is like 2000 kilometers uh, after completing the vehicle. I had this complaint uh, with the engine also, that abnormal noise started to pitch in and uh, it was it was like something as you guys know or already seen in the internet, uh, the tractor kind of sound. That was there and um, so I took the vehicle for addressing these three issues uh, twice first time doing the service it was like eight days the second time I was sort of close to uh, seven to eight days almost a week so almost like 15 days the vehicle was in service so they were doing study doing some troubleshooting then they got some solutions to it about the cone set the uh, cone set noise it was so frequent after like thousand kilometers uh, whenever when we hit the pothole or whenever we uh, go over the speed breaker the noise is always there, the tuck tuck noise. It was so frequent at some point and I could not able to enjoy the ride basically. So when I took the bike to the service center, they felt the bike handlebar, the cone set basically, the cone set is a little bit uh, loose. So what they have done is like they have tightened the torque and uh, they gave to me. But after riding it, I could not uh, find it more comfortable. The bike was so hard to handle. It's like it's, it's completely planted and uh, it weaves in the straight road also. So I took the bike again to a service center, I told my complaint. This is something different, which I never had it. So you guys have tightened the talk, but I didn't get a proper uh, solution. Now the handling is completely changed. I didn't like the bike. So what they've done is like, they've had an additional bush uh, below here in the cone set. So what happened is like, after adding it, now I could feel that handling has changed. That is like up to my uh, need and also as a new bike, how it was supposed to be. And also the sound has been reduced. After fixing the cone set issue, like the adding the additional rubber bush, so far I've close to 1,400 kilometers. There was no sound at all. And also uh, what I've done is like, I've done a off-roading. I've done a long touring also with that. There was no sound. In the cities also there is no sound. So I believe that uh, the complaint is sorted out here. The second complaint is the, the brake pad noise, which usually comes whenever when we do a slow braking. The, the, when you do uh, hold the brake lever mildly, not rather than putting it uh, full pressure to it. So when you press it slow and light, there is a kind of uh, friction uh, that happens within the brake pads and also the disc. The sound is so heavy, that is so annoying because this bike, after taking the delivery, initial ride to my home, I felt it so hard. And I, even after riding it for 500 kilometers, I felt like it should have been gone, but it didn't go. 
so what I did is I took the service center. In the service center, they told me the basic checks like cleaning and placing that and rubbing and uh, clearing some of the brake pads so that the friction will be better and the sound will not be there. But all these things didn't work because every time when I take the bike daily or for any long touring, I clean it completely. Not the disc pack basically, I will clean the disc and whenever I do a water wash, uh, after doing water wash, I ride for a few kilometers and make sure that it doesn't go and sit uh, in one place so that it gets rusted and the noise starts to peak out. Uh, so I've done all the uh, basic things that I have to do to prevent that sound, but it didn't work at all. So what they've done is, first service, they tried to do all this troubleshooting stuff and they didn't get any solution. The last thing, what it is, like they changed the complete brake pads and the disc even in the front and also in the back. So the entire system of the brake pads in our bike has been changed. For the first 500 kilometers or 300 kilometers, I would say, there was no sound coming out from these brake pads. But after 300 kilometers, the sound is obviously there. After searching so much in the online, I found that because of this uh, synthetic brake pad, which is known for good braking for longer life, and also keeping the temperature of the uh, disc pads and the engine oils low, this has a characteristic of creating that noise. So synthetic brake pads are pronoun for making that noise. It is an universal truth, it seems. So that's why that we are getting this sound. But I don't know why it is there. If that's going to be creating such an uh, annoying feel uh, or you should have not done it, I know it, it has a better stopping power, but I feel like uh, they should have sorted out because there are many other bikes that are more powerful bikes, uh, but they don't have any issues with that. So this was a second complaint. We spoke about the cone set and we spoke about the uh, brake pads. The last and major one was the engine noise. So this is, they're not common in all the Himalayan 450 bikes but it is there in few bikes because I feel there's a consistency issue with the uh, bikes, I would say. I have not faced this issue that the uh, engine abnormal noise issue during the first 2000 kilometers. I never uh, had this issue. I have done the proper uh, running period, like first 500 kilometers and second 1500 kilometers, like 2000 kilometers. 4000 RPM max in first uh, running period, and the second running period was max of uh, 6,000 RPM till 2,000 kilometers. I never faced this issue. I've done long touring at the time and also I've done city rides. Uh, so after completing 2,000 kilometers, somewhere around 2,000 to 2,500 kilometer, I started to get some metal buzzing sound or uh, some kind of a free nut loose or in the metal or something like that in the engine. I took this bike for the service. Initially, they say that it's normal. But after explaining them clearly, this is not normal because if it was normal, it should have been there from the day one. It was not there. So I told them to take the bike, understand it properly and get me a solution. So what they did is like, they did the change, the chain tensioner in their engine. So the 411 and few other Royal Enfield bikes, uh, they used to get this kind of sound it seems and that's why they say it's a normal. And when it happens, what they do is like, uh, they change the chain tensioner and for a for some time, this complaint gets resolved and later it starts to come in again, it seems. For this bike, they try the similar thing. They change the chain tensioner and give to me. But unfortunately, after riding for 200 kilometers something, I could feel it, I could hear it even more, worse than the previous time. So I had to take the vehicle back to a service center to get a proper solution. This time also particular. So what I did is like I took a test drive of a uh, Himalayan 450 in one of these uh, showroom and that was like 1500 kilometers ridden vehicle and it had no noise. And I've also ridden some of the uh, friends Himalayan 450 which was like 500 kilometers old which was like 2000 kilometers ridden vehicle. Even those vehicles didn't have any complaints. So what I did is like, I decided to take it and make them ride this bike and feel it, how it sounds. So they did a test ride with this vehicle were close to 20 to 40 kilometers. Why 20 to 40? It's like in front of me, they did like close to 20 kilometers. 
after hand overing the vehicle they did close to 40 kilometers so after riding it and after keeping the vehicle in ideal they could feel it the sound is increasing especially when the temperature of the vehicle is peaking up so what they did is like they changed this engine head completely after changing the engine head now i've clocked close to 1300 kilometers now the bike feels as a brand new vehicle there is no metal buzzing sound and uh, i'm not sure this is this is the solution or how long this is going to be now at present after riding for 1300 1400 kilometers i'm happy the bike issue got solved so this was my complaint and solution that i got from ari after changing uh, the engine and i also had a running prayer which was not the case but i personally did it uh, 500 km of running prayer to understand the vehicle the vehicle performed really well i went for a long ride it was really good and i went for a pakka off roading it was still performing really good there was no engine noise at all in this vehicle i'm so happy now the issue is resolved and was there any performance drop in the vehicle after changing the engine head no i didn't feel anything is there any mileage drop after uh, completing uh, or after changing the engine head no absolutely not so i feel this will be an ultimate solution changing the engine head but is this common in every vehicle i'm not sure because i've ridden few other vehicles they had different different sounds engine sound there are many scenarios where your uh, uh, tank gun tank gun nut gets loose so there is a metal buzzing sound comes from that if you tighten that the issues get resolved there are a few brands accessories that when you put especially with the bash plate down here so it is touching the engine or uh, the header pipe basically so because of that also there are some vibration in this vehicle which with the vibration the sound is there uh, because of that part this is the only vehicle which had the head changed no our vehicle was the first vehicle where the head was changed and after that there was another vehicle also the same in chennai itself so there are two vehicles that have got into this kind of solution for me the solution worked perfectly fine there is no metal buzzing sound there is no cone set sound as of now the brake pad sound still stays uh, this is what i want to tell you guys uh, this is the solution that i got from the re service center and if you find that if you also have this similar kind of issue go for uh, the troubleshooting steps let them do it you don't have to pitch in what you want to make them change it let them study understand then they will give you a solution probably this might be the ultimate solution no there is an ultimate solution after that also but this is something that uh, that can be done from ari if they find the head is a issue i'm not sure because this is consistency issue is there if the every vehicle has this sound every bike gets the same similar sound then there's fault in some part so they can change the head for everything every bike but it's not the case that's it guys uh, this is what i want to share with you guys this is what the complaints that had my vehicle and how it got rectified how i feel right now uh, whether it's a performance drop or not i have explained everything in it if you find this video interesting or if you find this video useful share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also do hit the like button if you find this solution probably will be useful for you guys I'll see you guys on the vlog. Bye.